CBS 2's Dave Lopez explains they were supposed to get the money this summer, but that did not happen. They're not fixing anything. All, you know, the pipes keep breaking all the time. Nothing works. And according to Brad and Mary Fagerstrom, the DWP billing system was so bad that they went to solar power. They're out of my life now. I mean, it cost me $11 a month for his electricity. He was paying a DWP an average of $450 a month until the computer snafu, and it almost tripled. He said DWP overcharged him about $2,500, but he got it back. How? We kicked him in the shins every day. You had to fight, 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 and get as many people involved. But, according to court records, there are 1.6 million DWP customers who didn't fight, 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 and they're waiting for their refunds. About $50 million to be divided among those who were overbilled. We should be going to court in November. At that point in time, there'll be about a four to six month process. And then the refund checks should be in the mail, mid-2017. But then again, this refund settlement issue was supposed to be resolved not quite a year ago, then six months ago, then three months ago, and on it goes. We tried to get the mayor's comment about the delay, but we were told his schedule wouldn't permit an interview. Instead, this written statement that said in part, quote, this additional time, while inconvenient, is a result of a thorough process overseen by a court-appointed monitor and a respected jurist. So they will get their money back? Yes, they will. But can this computer glitch, what created this mess, happen again? I, it sure as heck shouldn't happen again, no, because uh, once this is corrected, there are no billing problems with the system for moving forward. You can feel for the people that are still waiting for their money. Oh, absolutely. He demanded and he received his refund. As for everyone else, the check will eventually be in the mail. From Canoga Park. Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.